a locomotive. You can make one by just using primitive objects. I like to deform it a bit with the FFD deformer, so I keep my geometry as clean as possible. Model one wheel and use it as instances for the other ones. This way, you just have to texture one wheel later on. Use a symmetry object to pass it on the other side. When you are done, group all your objects and add a FFD deformer into the group. Then you can give your locomotive a more cartoony look with just a few clicks. Make your wagons the same way. Put their anchor points centered and on the ground. Create a spline flat on the ground. Name it Rail. Put its mode to Uniform and add a bunch of points or your train will not run smoothly. Select your train wagons, right click and add an Align to Spline tag on them. Rename each one of them. Create a Null and name it Train Control. Select it, then click Add User Data. Create a Train Position Data. In the Interface drop-down, choose Float Slider. Create a Wheel Rotation Speed Data and a Wagon Distance Data the same way. Click OK. You can see the set of controls you created. Right click on your Train Control Null and add an Expresso tag. In the Expresso window, drag your Train Control Null and all the Align to Spline tags. Click on the red square of the train control null and add the train position user data we created. Click on the blue square of the align to spline tags and add the position value. Link the train position to the locomotive position. Add a math node and set it to subtract. Copy paste it for each one of your wagons. Add a multiply node and copy paste it for each one of your wagons except the first one. Link the train position to input one of the subtract node and the wagon distance to the input one of the multiply node. The output of the multiply node goes into the input two of the subtract node. The output of the subtract node goes to the wagon position. Play with the sliders until you find the right value to put in each one of your math nodes. Put each one of your wheels in the Expresso window, add their rotation as input. Add a time node, a range mapper node, two math nodes in multiply mode. The output upper value of the range node should be higher than one. Plug every node as you can see in the video. The second math node is here to multiply your output by minus one if your wheels turn into the wrong direction. Boom! You have a train! Ah, enjoy the view! And of course, a fresh croissant!